Hey, if you're looking for what is probably the greatest software ever to run your business on, go to getjobber.com forward slash Keith. You can create proposals, invoices, collect payments, even track your entire business directly on the Jobber smartphone app. And if you want to get a totally free trial of Jobber right now, open your browser, type in getjobber.com forward slash Keith. And if after the trial, you decide you want to sign up with Keith's link, you'll automatically get 20% off your first six months. So what are you waiting for? Go to getjobber.com forward slash Keith. Yo, this inflation is no joke. So this inflation is very serious for our industry, all industries. This is insane. This spring, and I put out a video about this too, I did the math and I raised the prices 12.5% for existing landscaping clients and then 20% for all new customers, right? To compensate for the inflation. And I was like, we're going to be fine. You just raised the prices, dog. Well, this new price increased resulted in us losing and I just posted this on my Instagram at Keith Kelfus. This resulted in us losing about 10% of our existing clientele and lowered our close rate for new clients from 50% because we have about a 52% close rate of qualified leads. I'll explain that in a second. 50% all the way down to a 10% close rate of in-person quotes, qualified leads. What I mean by that is we took 300 new phone calls, qualified 30 of those, right? So that means that <laughs> literally 90 out of 100 phone calls, we conversate with them over the phone and we have a script. And if the customer is not a good fit, we figure that out over the phone before driving to their property. And so we do like 10 quotes out of every 100 phone calls, right? And then from those, we would close about half of those, 50%. Well, this brought the close rate all the way down to 10%, which means we did out of 300 phone calls, 30 in-person quotes, and only closed three new jobs. Could you imagine taking 300 phone calls and only closing three jobs? You'd be like, that's insane, Kofi. I closed 90%. Well, next thing, these three jobs were priced properly to afford to run a legitimate license and insured tax paying landscaping business that pays the employees and the owner a living wage. Like I've done all this. I sat down with Dan Plata from Blue Skies Bookkeeping, my bookkeeper. He's a finance genius. And we did all the math of like, what do I need to charge? We're still learning more about this to dial in the man hour rate. And I'm like, I've got a lot of work to do in my landscape business, but I'm getting a lot better at really looking at the numbers and the scope of the numbers. But what I'm seeing is that this ebbs and flows for a famine or what's like a feast or famine in your business. There's different, we call it a different season, a low balling season, right? That's why a Stan Genetic, I'm not trying to go too far off the rails here. I just want to give you some context. Stan Genetic, the dirt monkey, he says something awesome. He's never of a shortage for work or having to lower his prices ever because the fall before, the year before, he's out selling high ticket. I don't know if you do lawn care landscaping, but he sells these high ticket landscaping jobs the year before. That way, when the spring rolls in, he just rolls right into doing the jobs he's already had contracted the year before. He's not doing any playing that game. Although we have a couple of those, not at the level that Stan does. So what this happened was I priced all of it properly. So in the real world is different than you writing stuff down on paper and doing financial planning and projections saying, okay, well, I'm just going to charge the customers exactly what we need to charge. So we can do this and this and this and this. And we're going to have company parties. It's going to be amazing. It's like, this isn't Apple. This isn't freaking like Apple computers where they have just insanely wicked high profit margins. This is a landscaping business. So, all right. So we ended up, we almost ended up with no work, right? More of the untrapped podcast right after this. Looking to maximize your production in the field? Ballard Products has over 300 products that can help you get the most out of your efforts every day. Ballard Products. Whether you are looking to get a better cut, keep your gear on your machine, keep your expensive equipment clean and safe, or just get the most out of your machines, Ballard has you covered. Ballard Products. 
jump onto our easy-to-use updated website at ballard-inc.com to get your gear ordered today. Keep grinding, Keep grinding. Stay, stay safe, safe, and have a great season. Ballard. Make sure to use the code KEITH10 to save 10% on our full line of gear. That's KEITH10. This is Untrapped with Keith Kalfas. My guys that work for me that I care about very much, they didn't even know that we, for like about a week and a half straight, we were working job to job. Like I was literally closing within an hour. We never, ever went without work once. I would not let that happen. I would try everything. But I was riding the line of keeping the prices as high as possible within all accordance to the inflation and making sure everything is dialed in. I'm not trying to like price gouge or anything like that. I've never tried to do that. I'm trying to run a profitable business. And a profitable business is allows you enough money so you can have an abundant business. So with that being said, I rode that line and I took it all the way to the point where I just had to just ditch and go to plan B. And I had, I was, well, right here. And I was pressured into immediately dropping the prices back down in order to fill up our calendar with new work. We are now booked out for a month. So we're booked out for a month and we're back up to a 30% close rate with more new landscaping jobs coming in every day and the phone's ringing and we're doing fine. But this tells me that America is not ready for this extreme inflation. This is me saying all this right now. I'm just saying what I was typing. And I posted a funny meme, kind of a parody of all these people posting them at the gas pump. And people are spending $150, $200 to fill up their trucks right now. I just filled up my F-150. It's a, a V8 5.0. $150 exactly. The gas pump stopped at $150. I was like, that's funny. $150 to fill up a $150. It's not funny. Now, I'm not trying to feel like I'm entitled here because I've been paying attention to this stuff since 2008. Now, I remember in 2004, the gas prices went up to $450 a gallon for about a month. But I'm surprised they're not $12 a gallon right now. If you compare the world average of what the prices are for gas and all this stuff, but everything is going up so much that I think if you have contracts out there, your contract should have contingencies and like clauses in there saying that, hey, this is only good for 30 days. Last year, I was hearing there was contracts in the construction world saying this is literally only good for like two weeks because the inflation is insane right now. So I'm feeling it in my business. I'm making sure that we have work that my guys are paid. I've lowered my own salary to make sure that there's money in the hopper to pay for everything that we need for materials. For get- I mean, I just have a small landscaping business. That's what I want is a lean, mean, dialed in landscaping business and forget trying to do anything else until you're, that's what I talk about. Sorry, I got a lot of shit going on is making the business lean and mean. My brain's going off right now because we got to get this job done. We got a heat advisory tomorrow to get this other and a lot of shit going on. So, all right. So, I want to know what's going on in your business, how you're feeling the inflation. What are you thinking about with the gas prices? Did you raise your prices to compensate for inflation? And then were you forced to lower them back down because the customers just weren't having it? You can say whatever you want to say. That's it. I'm going to charge it $150 a man hour. I forgot your name. You're in the comments in my last video saying, oh yeah, it was funny. You're like, well, I charge $200 a man hour and we have a $10,000 minimum and we all pull up in friggin' Range Rovers and cut your grass. It's like... You can say whatever you want to say, but the reality is there's only so much that the market can bear. Your market, right? You're probably a family-owned business, and you care. And what I mean is, like, you shop at the same grocery store as your customers do, probably, or unless you're going to a different neighborhood. But these are all hardworking, probably middle and upper middle class people. I don't know who can afford landscaping. is basically a luxury service. Think of it in those terms to keep yourself out of a scarcity mindset when you're quoting. These people are spending disposable income. But what happens is is we're definitely, I don't like to ever talk about this stuff because I'm not qualified too much, but do. It looks like we're going into a recession for sure. I'm in my late 30s. And so I've been through 2008, 9, 10, and I know what that was like. I don't know how old you guys, I think you're probably between the ages of what, 24 and 35 years old at the most, probably between 20 and 40 watching this video right now, let me know. But if you've been through 2008 and 9, let me know what it was like for those of you that are too young watching this right now. It's no joke. Here's what it's like. You have to work twice the amount. If you want to make the same amount of money, you got to work twice the amount or you're gonna make half the amount of money and everything goes through the roof. So you basically gotta work twice the amount for half the money. 
No joke, I'm saying you will literally have to work 80 hours a week for peanuts. It'll become, you guys say feast or famine, it'll become famine mode, and you will take whatever work that you can get. I don't care if you're on your hands and knees pulling weeds or cutting lawns for peanuts. You literally go down to like the corn on the cob. There's no corn left and you're trying to get that and you're fighting for it. It's a totally different type of atmosphere. Stick around as Keith returns with more of the Untrapped podcast in just a moment. Jill's office provides friendly, professional receptionists for small business owners just like you. We can help answer your calls, and we can even schedule estimates and jobs for you. Try Jill's office today and get a $25 discount when you say Untrapped. Just go to jillsoffice.com. The Untrapped podcast continues. You know, if you're financially rich and you're loaded and you then you can invest like crazy and build a business, grow real estate, you can afford. But there's lots of people, if you pay attention and you listen to audiobooks and self-development programs and entrepreneurs that have been through this, there are entrepreneurs back then who said, no, we'll press through. And they kept trying to expand their business and keep all their employees on payroll if they had a bigger business. And they kept going because they thought, you know, because you're an entrepreneur, you want to muscle through it. And a lot of people lost their shirts. They lost everything. People had to just liquidate just to barely break even. There's people who went bankrupt. There's a lot of crazy stuff. So I'm not saying I'm an expert in this. Go find all the information. But I mean, it's like tighten your belt and work your ass off. And it's back to cash is king type shit. Cryptos crashed. Friggin' uh, the stock market crashed. The S&P 500. I started a SEP IRA with the Vanguard Star Fund. And I've got a bunch of different little stocks and stuff. Like I don't even know what I'm doing. I've listened and learned a bunch. But real stock market experts and analysts are doing it like 60 hours a week. I just keep, you know, a little bit of Amazon, a little bit of Tesla, a little bit of Ethereum and crypto and Cardano and Polkadot and all this different stuff. Doesn't mean I know what I'm doing. It just means that I've got, I've watched my stocks and crypto go. (laughs) And so, but I don't care. I'm not emotionally attached to it because you shouldn't invest what you can't afford to lose and you just play the long game. Somebody that I know very close had a house upside down in 2008 and they were stressed out and all they had to do was wait for the market to correct and come back and they ended up all that stress was for nothing because they were able to wait it out. I know people, some of your landscaping and lawn care customers might live in these half million or million dollar homes and you're like, how in the hell did you afford to get this house? I've talked to people, they're like, oh dude, we bought this house back in the last recession for like 200 grand. It was foreclosed sitting around with cobwebs and we got in cheap. And now, and the price went back up. Now I live in a three quarter million dollar home and I'm just a middle-class person. It was like, So a lot of things are a facade and an illusion. It's like the raising tide raises all boats, but a sinking tide can sink you as well. My uncle, who's been in business about 35 years, had a couple auto care centers. He's got one auto care center now. He said something interesting to me. I don't know if this is good advice or not, but he said, stay small in business, stay small, stay around. (laughs) <laughs> so you think about that. I'm going to stop right here, but yeah. So I raised my prices like crazy and was pressured into lowering my prices back down. And so we're talking about being hyper efficient now, working your ass off, probably not making any, I don't know what type of money you have, but I was getting excited. I'm like, dude, I want to go, I want to buy an RV and travel around. I want to buy my first boat. You know, you work your ass off in your business for many years. You get to the point where you start to see your soul is starving. And you want to feel what it is like to maybe buy a jet ski or a boat or start doing things like that. And I'm thinking about twice. I haven't made any of those crazy purchases. I'm happy I didn't. And I just want to see what happens here. But luckily, if you got your health, you got wealth. And we've also started a survival garden. We got our first harvest today. We got a bunch of lettuce, which is pretty exciting. I don't really talk about this on my channel much, but are you into uh, gold and silver and things like that? You can get down the prepper path and go into a deep rabbit hole. Please don't say anything crazy in my comments because I don't want the algorithm to do that. But I think it's smart to stay positive and keep your head up. Don't go down any dark paths or rabbit holes, but also do what you feel you need to do to be smart and be alert and be prepared. But nonetheless, I see a beautiful world and I see tons of opportunity. And look at all the people who have become just more and more and more and more and more successful. I just went down a rabbit hole. I got to jump out and make sure this landscape job is going well. Let me know if you think we're going to a recession. And 
if this inflation is affecting your business at all, or are you just crushing it, dog? You're making five times the amount of money because you got the magic, you got the golden cape, you got a cape with the golden, and you just show up and the customers just give you all the money. Because I see a business that the only way to make money in the landscape, sometimes you get those jackpot jobs and we get these abundant customers that just have tons of disposable income and are happy. They're like, sure, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. And they'll just spend, you know, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 and just want to do whatever. Of course, we charge everything is proper and legit. I'm kind of disclaiming right now, putting out these disclosures because in my past video, some of my videos have gone viral on Facebook and got like literally millions of views in like mainstream America people, which is good, but they're pouring into the comments watching my videos. They don't really know where I'm coming from or what I talk about on my channel, which is I'm talking to other contractors. They're like, this guy's a scam artist. He's trying to tell people to raise their prices and so you can make good money off your landscaping customers. Scam artist. He needs to stay poor. What is this guy? This guy's crazy. Why is he cussing? I'm not saying anything bad or wrong. I'm just, just talking about the hustle, man. Just, you know, not for this video. <laughs> Hey, I hope you liked the show. And if you like the Untrapped Podcast and you get value from it, can you please take a minute and go over to Spotify and leave it a well-worded, positive five-star review. It helps boost the rankings on Spotify so the show can get to more people. Therefore, these messages can get out to more people and inspire more people so that they can go out and start their small businesses and crush it and get to the next level. It's a huge deal. All right, I'll see you in the next show.